Hey guys, it's Jude here and today I'm going to be attempting to get rid of my roots and show you guys the process of how I get my hair to the white silver color that I get to. Today I decided to go to Sally's and buy some new products that I've never used before. This one is Clairol Professional Soy 4 Plex. So this is pure white uh, cream developer so I'm really hoping that it will work really well. It's um, 30 volume. I was going to get 40 but the powder says only to use 10, 20, or 30 volume. So I was like, I guess I shouldn't get the 40. And then this is just the Clairol Professional Dedusted Extra Strength Powder Lightener. Let's get started. Hopefully the hair turns out nice. Add a bit of Olaplex in it because I love my hair and I do not want it to hate me. It is super strong smelling, so we're gonna just dive right in. Do you want me to just like dive in? Yeah, I literally just start at the bottom, it doesn't matter. So I officially look ridiculous. We ended up finally getting it all on my head and it only took us about 20 to 25 minutes. And now I'm just gonna wait about 15 more minutes with this on my head as well. I'll see you when, when we wash it out and hopefully it's good. All right, so this is what the hair color is looking like. Super, super blonde, a bit yellowy for me. So I have shown you and done a video on my hair toning. I'm just gonna be doing that. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. And I will tell you how to do this part. And also, um, I used to have bleached eyebrows and I kind of missed them. So I'm gonna go ahead and bleach my eyebrows whilst I am doing the Manic Panic hair mask to tone the hair. Okay, so we're back. Look how amazing my hair looks. Of course, the ends are not as bright and beautiful as the rest, and the sides are a bit more bluey purple, but that will fade out in washes to come, which is awesome. And for my eyebrows, they're turning out a little bit blonde right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and bleach them again, and then give them a little bit of tone to match my hair. It's day two of the dyeing process. As you can see, my hair is beautiful and looking lovely. My brows are bleached as well, and today we are tackling these bad boys from VP fashion and we're gonna be dyeing them with 40 volume because I just want to get rid of all these yellowy tones and I bought two packs of powder bleach because there is a lot of hair here so hopefully we get all of this bleached out um, yeah so once you've mixed it we will now start applying to the hair Now on the ends of my hair extensions, I'm just gonna be adding a mixture of this bleed with some conditioner. Finish putting it throughout the kind of ends of the hair. The very ends I didn't put it on because it doesn't need it. I'm just gonna let it sit and process for however long it needs to process. Wash them out, tone them a little bit with some shampoo and maybe some Manic Panic. We are on the third day of hair extension drama. Third and final day, hopefully. Hopefully. As you can tell, it is a lot more like white blonde than the purple tone in my hair. I still haven't washed it since I put the toner in, so yes, it's still in my hair and very much there. But once we tone 
the rest of these again will match closer to this. We're gonna dye the ends of the extensions. That's a beautiful mint color. Oh, that was backwards. You're welcome. Yes, Cody picked this out. It is only semi-permanent, so we're not gonna be washing these guys out for a while after this. And I'm thinking about putting maybe a bit of it on the ends of some of my hair, but uh, I guess we'll see. There is a lot of hair extensions, so I'm going to be mixing my dye with some conditioner. That came out really awfully. Wow. That's just gonna dilute it a little bit, but also give me a little bit extra to work with with these hair extensions so that hopefully we get all of them and uh, they look fabulous. So let's get into it. So I put my hair in this weird, funky thing, and now we're just gonna attempt to add some of the stuff to the ends of my hair. So, waiting for the hair to process, and then I'll be back with the final product of this three-day process. This is the final product, guys. I ended up putting a bit on the ends of my hair, as you saw, and I kind of like it. The ends of these look amazing. I love the color. You can kind of see the difference in my hair of the blonde and the silver, and I already told you guys that, yes, I still have a lot of toner in this hair, so it will fade out and match closer to these. I'm super lucky that I have thick hair, because otherwise I would not be able to do this. But yeah, so this is basically the end product and I'm super happy. I love BP fashion hair extensions. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please leave a big thumbs up if you did. Leave some comments down below for me to read and if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe already. I will see you next time. Bye!